Welcome to Financial Journeys. My name is Daksh Bosley. I am 8 years old. Today I am going to tell you the story of John D. Rockefeller, the world's first billionaire. This is made by my mother. I thank my mother. Before we start, subscribe to my channel for Financial Journeys. So let's start. In 1839, John D. Rockefeller was born in New York. His father was a fraudulent medicine seller, so his father didn't stay at home. His family shifted to Cleveland, which comes in the state of Ohio. There, John completed his schooling and did a bookkeeping course. At the age of 16, he became a bookkeeping assistant of a company called Habitat Tuttle. He thought of making an oil extraction business but realized that success in the extraction industry was up to chance. So he started an oil refining company called Standard Oil in 1870. Standard Oil owned 4,000 miles of pipeline, 20,000 oil wells and a workforce of 1 lakh. Rockefeller made exclusive and secret deals with railway companies, acquired refineries aggressively and created a monopoly with control over 90% of U.S. oil refining business by 1880. The world had never seen such a monopoly ever. In the year 1911, the company was ordered to split itself into 34 companies. These smaller companies merged and formed some of the well-known companies today. Marathon, ExxonMobil and Chevron Corporation. He gave $80 million to the University of Chicago and, donated, and he almost donated about $550 million. It is believed that Rockefeller was influenced by a meeting with Swami Vivekananda in 1893 to dedicate more of his wealth to philanthropic purposes. So this is a list of the companies which were formed after the standard oil, after they were merged. The Chevron, Exxon, Esso and BP. Then Exxon merged with Mobile and its name is Exxon. These are some of the big companies there are several, like Marathon. I am Daksh Bosley, signing off. Bye-bye.